So I've been watching a bunch of interviews um, online, like IFL, Boxing Social, um, ESPN, whatever. And I saw an interview on IFL with um, Eddie Hearn. And he was saying how, you know, he nothing happened basically before the fight. Um, basically, before like boxing matches, all boxers will have like a medical check. Um, so the referee will come in, or the ref I shouldn't say referee, like doctors will come in. I think maybe the referee might come in as well, but definitely the doctor will come in, do certain checks on them. Obviously he's going to search for concussion or, you know, any external injuries that may be happening. Um, and, you know, with that being said, it kind of made me think, um, you know, was AJ just simply unprepared for the fight? Um... You know, and if that's the case where he went into the fight and he was himself and nothing had happened, then I don't think he should take the rematch against Ruiz. I really don't think so. I think it's just too much of a risk. Um, you know, this isn't like Lennox Lewis's knockout against McCall or Ramon where he was, you know, beaten by one shot, one straight knockout. You know, he was beaten up pretty much, you know, over... The whole fight he was being like, apart from the third round where obviously he floored him. And that's another thing. Obviously, the guy had concussion. But, you know, the first, second and third round, no one really talks much about AJ's concussion. It's only really when he was on the floor that people were saying that something went wrong. So, with that being said, I don't think he should take the rematch so early against Ruiz. I think Ruiz is just too quick. Um, you know, his, his, his boxing style just doesn't suit AJ. You can't. With with in boxing, you can't prepare in six months for a fight against you know someone that just doesn't have a style that you know you tailor to. I think that you know it'd be better for AJ to kind of you know have two warm up fights, you know change his style a bit, then go into the ring where he's built confidence. Um, don't just go in there you know with a fighter's mentality, and um, you know. Uh, the, the reason why I got David Price in it because I was listening to his interview as well and he was saying the same thing that you know he shouldn't take the rematch he famously lost against Tony Thompson um, and he went straight into the rematch and then he lost two back to back ones and since then David Price's career hasn't been the same people David, uh, David Price's hasn't, career has not been the same um, you know he's been you know he's been floored multiple times I know Povetkin is beating him um, his confidence is just um rock bottom and he, that's what he said so he slowly had to rebuild I mean he's fighting Dave Allen um, I mean he's fighting Dave Allen really soon um, and he's preparing for that fight um, you know Mike Tyson also famously lost to Buster Douglas but you know they were all in, in different you know all in different fashion an interview with um, Ben Davison who's Tyson Fury's um, trainer and he was saying how if Team AJ want nine years in the game then, you know, why are they rushing? Where's the rush? Because he's saying that, um, you know, if they can't point out specific mistakes that AJ made in that fight and they don't know what was wrong with him, then why are you rushing? Don't take the fight. It's too much of a risk. Um, because, I mean, if he loses, again, the his stock value is going to decrease dramatically. People are going to look, look at him as a joke, especially... Um, you know, proper hardcore boxing fans, they're going to think, oh, this guy's not the real deal. I mean, he may get the occasional casual fans pointing him out, but he won't be the same age as you see that he is now. So, you know, it, it might be just too much of a risk. If you've got nine years in the game, why take the fight? Why not, you know, have two fights, you know, work on a little bit of your weaknesses that you have, you know, learn to, you know, defend better, you know, build up your confidence. Then, you know, slowly, slowly you get a shot at the World Championship because at the end of the day, he's still Anthony Joshua. Um, so I'm thinking it, it might just be too much um, of a risk. So with that being said, like I said, if he genuinely went into the fight with nothing wrong with him, then he should not take the rematch. He should have a couple warm-up fights, you know, build himself up, build up some confidence, improve defensively, maybe change up your style, get some tips from George Foreman, Klitschko, whatever, then come back. Don't rush. There's no need to rush if you still got another ten years because, you know, it'll be the risk isn't worth it if you if you're to lose. Um but boy, I don't know what they're gonna go with. 
they're saying that the rematch is going to be in the UK. I know one thing I'm pretty annoyed about. I think that if you're going to rematch, do it in MSG. Do it where you lost the fight. Why are you going to do it somewhere where it's easy? But, you know, um, you know, Eddie Hallen's the master man behind all this. I don't know what they're actually going to decide. I'm not even sure when it's even going to come out. Um, but, yeah, that's just my take on it. Uh, CBC, I'm out.